So one thing that was cool this year when we were fishing for eel tail is when we put out the chum, we caught a lot of bait fish, which is good. Sometimes you catch ballyhoo or you know, smaller bait fish or bigger blue runners that you can use for bait later on throughout the week. And this time we had the blue runners and it was really cool because they were literally like right at my chum bag. I mean, they were like just a ball of them. They were, you know, like beating each other up trying to get to this bait. I mean, they pretty much couldn't see my chum bag because these fish were just balled all around it. So I'm like, you know, I'd like to have some of those for bait later on the trip. Thought about sabiki or cast nut. So I'm like, you know what? I bet I could catch one of these with just a bait net. I'll just stand on the transom and scoop them up. These blue runners are so thick here at the uh, chum bag, I'm just gonna scoop a few up, use for bait for later. Take your bait net, kind of stick it slowly. They'd be a little leery at first, but then they come back to the chum, and then you just kind of lift them up. You know, I was catching one or two. One time I got four. I mean, I had my little scoop net full of blue running. The thing about broke it. So you could tell it was bending there at the net. But that was a pretty cool little trick. So when you're chumming for fish, you know, if they come right close to the boat, you know, I know sometimes you're, you're fishing, you got other poles out, it's hard to rig a sabiki or maybe get a net that close, you know, because it's kind of hard. You might snag it in the swim ladder on the motors, but just take your scoop net and just give it a try, just scoop them up, you know. It's always good to keep bait throughout your trip. When we get down to the Keys, we like to try to catch bait early on, on the grass flats or, you know, ballyhoo or something out where the snapper are, and then we got a bait pen. We either keep them alive there, which is the ideal way to do it, or um, you know, Ballyhoo will brine up and use later throughout the trip, so at least the fresh bait. So hope you guys enjoyed this tip. For more videos, just subscribe, and we'll see you next time.